Why G20 matters? We always congratulate the top in class. We always talk about the one who takes home the gold in the Olympics. We always aim to be the best country in the world. However, at G20, we talk about everyone's welfare, everyone's interests, not just for the developed countries, not just for our self-interest, but for what the whole world needs to be better. Good afternoon to the panel of judges, fellow candidates, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Aldrich Brian Calvin Lee. I'm an 8th grader studying at Sinchong School, Surabaya. And with this opportunity given to me, I would like to talk about why G20 matters. As for its short history, the G20, also known as the Group of 20, was first founded in 1999 as it was a meeting of the Minister of Finance and the Governor of the Central Bank in an effort to discuss the global and financial crisis at that time. And since then, an annual meeting every year, starting in 2008, has been going. It's a meeting where the top 20 countries gather together and discuss economic matters, international trades, global problems, and the global crisis. Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Canada, China, France, Germany, India, Indonesia, Italy, Japan, Mexico, Russia, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, South Korea, Turkey, United Kingdom, the United States, and Spain are all members of the G20. With the ongoing pandemic and all sorts of other issues, this annual G20 meeting is very important indeed. This year, the meeting will be focusing on synchronizing exit strategies to support global recovery, containing the scaring effect of the pandemic on the economy to support stronger and future growth, and strengthening the payment system in the digital era. I'm pretty sure all of you know about the ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine. It's a war happening as of right now, affecting the whole entire earth. We have had problems without food supplies, and now with this war going on, our basic needs for our daily lives are also affected. On the one hand, Russia is one of the world's biggest supplier of oil. On the other hand, Ukraine is one of the largest exporters of basic food needs, like corn, wheat, and many more. This is the part where G20 matters. This topic regarding the scarcity of food supply is one of the topics that are going to be discussed later on, when we will be hoping for these two countries to find peace. Not just talking and discussing, the G20 is where countries can build allies, build connections, and work together as a whole to increase the economic growth and peace. Not just all that, G20 actually benefits us all too. On the 28th of June, 2022, the chairman of G20, which is Pak Jokowi, had a working visit to both Ukraine and Russia, which he succeeded on securing both oil and food supply from both countries. And to promote world peace, G20 has intended to invite both Russia and Ukraine to the annual G20 meeting to find an agreement for both countries to bring peace. At last, G20 does not only bring peace, but it stabilizes the global economy and helps prevent any global crisis. And with that, G20 matters. Thank you.